Hey guys, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have finally got together the boys room. So it's finished and everything's ready to go for baby Tanner to get here. And so many of you guys have asked me to show you guys how I have decorated the baby's room. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a small tour of what the boys room looks like. So Tanner and Sawyer will be sharing a room, but Tanner will be um, in my bedroom with me um, in a little bassinet for probably the first maybe one to three months. We'll see how it goes. Um, but this is where he eventually will be sleeping alongside his wild and crazy brother Sawyer. So um, I'm just going to take you guys along on a little tour of what the room looks like. So if you guys are um, trying to get ideas for your own nurseries or your own little boys room, um, Sawyer's too. Tanner's about to be here. So this is a perfect room for um, two little boys. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop into it and then I'll go ahead and link anything I can below in the description box if you guys are at all interested in um, picking any of the stuff up. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay so when you walk into their door I made this sign uh, probably about maybe a month, two months ago. It's just a wooden palette that I found from Michaels and then these are just stickers and then I used a marker to go ahead and add on the um, baseball stripe. So as you can see, it says Schweppe dugouts. So you guys can probably guess what theme is in this broom. Yep, it is baseball. So um, on the first wall, we have Tanner's side. So this used to be Sawyer's side right here. So we have the crib over here. The crib sheet that I picked out is actually from Target. It is the star pattern. So baseball room. I thought, okay, stars and stripes would be a good combination. So um, got this bed sheet at Target as well as the um, changing table cover. And this crib we've used with since Scarlett was born. So this is the third baby that will be using this crib. And I love this one because it also has drawers. So at the top I have some socks and then I just have um, some sleepers. So only zippers. I only use the zipper slippers the zipper sleepers and then also a few socks and then the second drawer we have in here is just um, onesies and pants and then below here are just some outfits that are uh, like summery outfits to coordinate with each other and then on the first wall we have the um, baseball stitchings um, over in the corners and I actually picked these up from Amazon. So if you're interested in anything that I'm showing you here in this video, um, all the links will be below in the description box, but these were super easy. Um, you could either paint these on the wall or you can use the decals and it was super simple to do it. Um, except when I first opened the package, the instructions were a little complicated, um, but I finally figured it out. So, um, that is the first wall and we have it, um, two tones so it's light blue and then dark blue and then we have Tanner's little name banner over here and then I made these as well I picked up these letterings from I think Hobby Lobby I think and then I just used a red sharpie marker to make the baseball stitching and then over here we have a little banner that says no girls allowed because this is the boys room so I thought it was fitting and then the top shelf we have Sawyer diapers, which I actually switched over to using pull-ups for them because we got such a good deal on them. So I went ahead and just used pull-ups. Um, and then below we have some newborn diapers and then we have some um, baby wipes and some baby lotion and a thermometer. And then over here, I actually got this little container at the Dollar Tree during um, Easter and inside is just some other baby toiletries. So we have the butt paste and we have some baby cream and baby powder and probably a uh, baby wash. Yeah, that's what's in here. Um, and then I also have a three shelf organizer right here. So I have some blankets, um, an extra crib sheet. And then we also have the swaddle blankets. And then I have a big Mickey blanket down there, which is Sawyer's. And then over here is just a little nursing caddy that I made myself with some lotion and some cream and um, a hairband so I'll probably fill that up with a little bit more stuff and then we have a rocking chair right here so we have a little baseball pillow and the glider unfortunately you can't get this one anymore because I got it from Babies R Us 
Not sure if Babies or Us is still open, but if they are, you might be able to get a deal on baby rockers if you need one. And then over here is just some more decor. So I got this sign from Hobby Lobby. It says baseballs, bats, and baseball hats. That's what little boys are made out of. So I got that from Hobby Lobby. And then up here, we have an ultrasound picture of Tanner. I have Sawyer's in the garage, so I need to go and get that for him too. And then I have a little basket that I just nailed to the wall. And this is my dad's um, baseball mitt and baseball glove from when he played baseball as a kid. So that's just a sentimental piece that I decided to display in here. And then we have a little sign that says our slugger. This was also a Hobby Lobby item. And then we have Sawyer's side of the room. So got the letters at either Hobby Lobby or Michael's, one of the two. So got that guy. And then Sawyer's little toddler bed is right here. I actually got this from Amazon. It was super simple to put together. Um, and then I found this bedding set that has baseballs and bats and stars on it. And it's the muslin material of the uh, swaddle blanket. So it's nice and airy and cool for him. So. Um, I loved this set when I picked it out for him. So again, I will have all the links below if anyone wants to pick up any of the items um, that I'm mentioning here in this video. I'll try to link as much as I can. And then on this wall, these were just some um, items that I got my husband a few years ago for his office. So we are in um, Southern California. So we have a Dodger sign and then we also have an Angel sign. My husband likes both teams. My husband just likes sports in general. so. Um, if he had to pick, I probably think that his favorite team is probably the Angels. I'm pretty sure Angels is his favorite team, but um, he also has a soft spot for the Dodgers as well. And then I just went ahead and put a baseball cap of his. This is a Washington Nationals cap. So you guys know we lived in Virginia for um, a small span of time. So Virginia memorabilia, such as the Washington Nationals is very close to my heart, so I wanted to display that. And then over here, we have a little laundry basket, but I do not keep laundry in here. I keep Sawyer's books and his toys, so he comes out here and scatters everything around, and then he puts it back in when he's done. Well, Mom puts it back in, but it's a nice um, way to stash toys and keep it all organized. And then over here, I just got a little baseball bean bag for Sawyer. Pick this guy up at Amazon. Love it. So this is where it may get a tad messy, but I'll show you guys how I organize the kids' clothes. So up top here, I have four different fabric bins right here. So I have them labeled PJs. These are all Sawyer's clothes. So PJs and socks are in here. And then I have um, Sawyer shirts, Sawyer shorts, and Sawyer pants. And the reason why I had to do this is because um, my father-in-law was watching uh, Sawyer one day and when I came home, Sawyer was in Tanner's clothes. So <laughs> I needed to go ahead and put labels on the clothes so my father-in-law knew whose clothes were whose. So it was a funny sight. Um, I will never forget that. <laughs> and then I just have some of his clothes that I need to hang up, like his dress shirts and his t-shirts, or not his t-shirts, but his dress shirts and his pants and his jackets. And then all of his other play type clothes, I just keep in these bins. Um, and then items that I'm currently um, getting rid of, well, I'm not getting rid of this one because we're waiting on Tanner to get here to go ahead and use this. So I'll put this over here. Um, but just some items like some um, Christmas blankets I'm not getting rid of, but we don't need the Christmas blankets right now. When I mentioned that this, this area was a little bit of a mess, it's because it is. Um, and then we have a stockpile of baby wipes down here. And then my most prized possession in here is my stockpile of diapers, which I started really late in the game for this one. Um, but I have a variety. I have newborn, I have size ones, um, and a few size twos. So that's what we're working on right here. And then Tanner's clothes I have hung up. I didn't go super crazy with his clothes. Um, I think I've only bought up to six months at this point, but we just have a few things uh, because honestly, zero to three months, these kids live in onesies. So I have plenty of onesies, plenty of sleepers, um, and I will buy stuff as I go along because Target puts out new baby clothes all the time. So I didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff up front and then I see stuff later on that I'm like, oh, I want, to, I want that, I want that. But I wanted to um, 
not repeat the mistake I did with Scarlet and I overbought for Scarlet by like a lot. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and then we have his little jumper over here. I have my boppy pillow ready to go. Um, an attachment for the pack and play. Um, so yeah, that's what's in the closet right here. So this is the boys room. So you guys wanted to see um, how I've decorated the baby room. So here it is. So I finally got it done at the last minute. So um, we're ready. We're ready for him to get here anytime. So this is Tanner in Sawyer's room. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up so I know you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I will talk to everyone later. Bye.